Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today we'll be reviewing the Reolink RLC 823A, which is a mouthful, but this is a 4K resolution pan, tilt, and with an optical zoom, wired IP, PoE, and VR camera from Reolink. And as you've seen in the intro, it also has motion tracking. Thank you Reolink for sending me this camera to be reviewed. We will look at its features, do a quick unboxing, install it, and do our usual testing, and see if this PTZ 4K quality IP and VR camera is a good option for your home. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. This camera has an 8 megapixel sensor and has person and vehicle detection and records 4K quality, 3840 by 2160 pixel resolution at 25 frames per second. It can pan 360 degrees, tilt 90 degrees, and has auto tracking. And you can have preset positions and patrol mode. And you can zoom in with an optical zoom up to five times and it is optical and not digital, so there's no degradation of video quality. Its field of view at its widest is 96 degrees and narrows down to 27 degrees. It has a built-in siren that can be manually activated and has spotlights that turns on when motion is detected at night or you can schedule its on and off times. It also has two-way audio which we will test later on. Because it has three LED spotlights, you can have a color night vision at night but it also has four infrared LEDs for black and white night vision when the spotlights are off. And because this is an IP, PoE or power over ethernet and VR camera, this is wired so sorry no Wi-Fi. But it can record 24-7 continuously, motion triggered or scheduled. And the footage can be saved to a microSD card of up to 256GB capacity or to a Reolink NVR which I'll be doing in this video or to an FTP server. This is weather resistant with an IP66 rating and has an operating temperature of 14 degrees to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Time to open the box. We have the usual paperwork, a window sticker, a mounting template, the waterproof lid guide, and the camera's quick start guide. We have a short ethernet cable, the waterproof lid, we have some mounting screws, plastic anchors, and an allen wrench, a power adapter if you are not using an NVR or a PoE switch, and I will not need this because I'll be using an NVR in my setup. Then we have the camera itself, which build quality wise, it is like a tank, all aluminum metal. We have a light sensor here in the front, we have the four infrared LEDs, camera lens, and three spotlights. On the back of the camera is the speaker and a micro SD card slot protected with a screwed in cover. This camera pans 360 degrees and tilts up and down 90 degrees. Now as to the wiring, there is a black wire which is the ground, power port, reset switch, and an ethernet port. Time for installation, which this camera is more of a specialized camera and you need to know where you want to install one before considering buying this. This can only be installed vertically or in a wall and the best wiring method is through a PoE or NVR install so you would only be needing one ethernet cable to the camera. Installation should and look easy because you just need to screw it in with four screws but on how the camera is designed, you will not effectively screw it in using a regular power driver or a regular screwdriver because the camera body is in the way. You can use a short Phillips driver but unless you have muscular fingers, there is no leverage. So I ended up using an angle driver attachment attached to my power driver and this worked to drive the screws in. So this is just a heads up when you're installing this. I'm using an NVR to set this up so I just need to plug in the camera using one ethernet cable that will power up and also send data to the NVR. I'm using an outdoor junction box for this temporary setup. It is best to hide the wires or get it through a ceiling or through the wall for a cleaner install. Plugging in the camera at the back of your NVR, it will be automatically found. And if your NVR is plugged into your router, you can use the Reolink app downloaded to your phone to control the camera from anywhere as long as there is an internet connection. This is one thing that I like about Reolink because you can change all the settings of the cameras that are hooked up to an NVR via the app. A lot of other NVR systems from other brands, you can only change the settings from the NVR itself and not from the app. Anyways, let's check out the settings in the app, which I'll mostly focus on the specific settings for this pan tilt zoom camera. When you open up the app, you will see the snapshot of the camera. Click on it to get to live view, which loads up pretty quick. In here, you can pause the live view, turn on sound, 
take a snapshot or record the current live view. And you can change the quality of the live view from full resolution, balanced, or fluent. And you can also change it to full view. On top, you can manually turn on the siren, or you can turn on the spotlights. On the bottom is the mic icon to start two-way talk, which is full duplex. PTZ is to control the pan, tilt, and zoom of the camera. You have the joystick to move the camera manually. To set the guard point, which is the home position of the camera, first set the camera to the position that you want. Click on mark and guard point. And you can set the time for the camera to go back to the guard point after it is moved or after it finished following the motion if you set the tracking to on. And you can choose from 10 seconds to 5 minutes. You can also set and save other positions. So let's say we are going to zoom in on the shed. Click mark again and we will name the position to shed and click confirm. After you added your saved positions, it will appear in the bottom so that you can easily choose it and the camera will go to that position automatically, like going to the shed. And also to my patio, which I also saved. After that, it will go back to the guard point position depending on how long you have set the return time. It also has auto if you want the camera to just go around and around. Or there is a patrol mode where the camera will go to your set positions and you can change the sequence. Going back to the live view page, there is the playback where you can view the recorded footage. You can sort it to just show the person or vehicles and click the download button to download full 4K resolution footage to your phone. Click on the gear icon to get to the camera settings. In here, we have display where you can set the quality. As you can see, it is recording in 3840 by 2160 with a max frame rate of 25 frames per second. You can also set the bit rate. We have detection alarm where you can set the motion zones, set the sensitivity, and on the smart detection, you can also set the sensitivity of the person and vehicle detection. If you want to dial it down some more, there is object size where you can set a minimum and maximum size of the detected object. This is where you can also set motion tracking, and you can choose person, vehicle, or both. We have camera recording. You can schedule it to 24-7 by selecting timer, or you can set it to record only when it detects people, vehicles, or all motion. In recording, I always set any motion, so that I'm not going to miss any motion events. And on the push notifications, this is where on the schedule, I only choose person, so that it will only give me an alert when it senses people. It will record every movement, but I'll be only alerted when a person is detected. Lastly, on the audio and light and on the spotlight, you can change it to turn on when it senses motion, or you can schedule it if you want specific time frames that it will be on. Time to do some testing. So this is the video and audio quality of Reolink RLC 823A. And video clarity test is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 823A at night and this with the three little spotlights turned on and this is what it looks like at 10 feet 15 20 
out here. So this is the video quality of the Relink RLC 823A at night and this with the spotlights turned off and it has four infrared LEDs turned on and this is what it looks like at 10 feet. 15, 20, 25, 30, We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Reolink RLC 823A and I'm on my LTE connection and it is 1143 so let's check it out <coughs> oh yeah that quick and when you click and hold there's no uh, rich notifications but when you click on it it should go to live view which loads up decently quick all right it's 11:43. all right so it is 11:44, and it went back to its original position so let's check out the cool off notification speed that quick cool okay so we are going to test the maximum detection distance of the Reolink RLC 823A and I've set the sensitivity to the highest uh, as to the person detection so it will only notify me when it detects uh, a person so let's check it out let's do a uh, 50 feet I'm just gonna go across the my fence line oh yeah I saw me dang I can tell you too my side backyard doesn't ring from there also got me they are pretty good. What I like about the preset positions and also this camera because it is pretty fast like if I want to check my patio I just click on that it goes there pretty quick and also how about my side yard just like so and on the shed it has a zoom so there is a focusing delay but it's still pretty quick and it will go back to the guard point i guess after about 19 seconds but you can always go click on that and it will go back to the home or guard point position So what do you think guys? As always, video quality with Reolink has always been good. And with this camera, it is pretty good day and night. Performance too is pretty solid, even the motion tracking. I like that you can save preset positions and also have a patrol mode. This camera though is not discreet. If you are one of those that needs their camera as low profile as possible, this is not the one. This screams, I'm recording you, especially at night with the spotlights on. I personally will not put this in the front of the house because I'm pretty sure my neighbors will be complaining. It's like somebody with a bright flashlight shining it on you and following you. If you have a house though that is far from your neighbors, this is an excellent deterrent. Place this in front of the house and you will not have anybody snooping around. You can click on these videos if you want to know more about Reolink's other IP, POE, and VR cameras. And thanks for watching and see you in the next one.